along. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to talk about this formula first. Like we did yesterday, it's always best to break this down so you know what it means. So the triangle and the X is the change in position. Okay? We're not doing time now. We're doing, just, we're doing position. Half, and you're going to half velocity initial, right? Velocity final. And if we wanted to do that, we could use this too, right? That's the same thing, isn't it? And then this, what does that stand for? Uh, uh, change in time. Change in time, but it also can be what way? What is the other way to do this? TF minus TI, right? Just like we've done before. As long as you understand this, you will know how to do it. Okay, so let's look at the sample problem first. So the sample problem says a race car reaches a speed of 42 meters per second. It reaches that. So what does that mean? Is that velocity initial or velocity final? It reaches it. It reaches it. Mm -hmm. It reaches it. That is my velocity final. Okay. And that's the reason it's 42 meters per second. So do they have the batteries in the bullet? No. They have batteries. Oh, God bless. Yeah, that's awesome. yeah. Sorry, it's opposite day for me. So it says a car reaches a speed of 42 meters per second, then begins to uniformly negative accelerate. I need to read a little bit further. Wouldn't Using its uh, parachute and braking system to come to a rest at five seconds later. So the car is going at 42 and, and it has a parachute and then it goes to zero, zero. meters per second. Yeah, Are we squaring anything yet? No. Okay. So then it says, and comes to rest 5.5 seconds later. Now, what's my initial time? What's my initial time? What is my initial time? 5.5. What's my initial time? Zero seconds. Zero oh, seconds. Oh. What's my final time? Okay, so they're just telling us what it is, right? So we have change in it, and change in time is 5.5. Is that what it is? No. Seconds? Seconds. Now, we have a velocity initial, we have velocity final, and we have change in time. We don't have to change our formula, do we? No. Only thing we're going to do is just plug everything in. So we're still trying to find change in position, correct? Mm -hmm. So we're going to say one half times velocity initial is 42 meters per second. And what are we going to do? We're going to add this time, not subtract, right? And then we're going to add zero meters per second. And then we're going to times it by 5.5 seconds. Put in your calculator and let's see what we get. I get 115.5. So my orders of operation is good though, right? Because I mean, I literally put it in just like this. My calculator looks exactly like that. I'm all good. But then we look at our original numbers. You only have two significant things. Okay. So if my answer is 115.5, here is my deciding one, right? I'm looking to the right, it's a five. I'm looking to the right, to the five. So what am I going to say the answer is? Here's my number. Looking to the right, it's a five. I look again, it's a five. I'm going to go ahead and round that one up to a two and then have my zero. Would you have to look to the second five too? Also, I always do. When I'm rounding, 
And if it's a five, I always look to the next number. And look, to, if the next number, say this number was a two, what I would have kept it in. Yes. Or 110 is what it would be. Very good. Take it where it's good. Everybody good. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and let's read the first question. It says a car accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 6.6 .6 meters per second in 6.5 seconds. So let's see what we got. We got a velocity initial, we got a velocity final, and we've got a change in time. The easy one is the change in time, right? What is my change in time? 6.5 seconds. Now, let's see what happens. It uniformly from rest to a speed. So what is my velocity initial? Zero. Perfect. And what is my units? Um, meters, like, meters per second. Go with it. You got it. What's my velocity final? Um, 42.9 meters per second. Do what? Mm -hmm. Well, you want to practice? You want one, right? Yeah. That's what I got wrong then. Yeah, because your initial is zero, you your finish is 6.6, and then your time is supposed to be 6.5. Yeah, Are we all good? All good. Now, put it in the equation. One half times velocity initial. Zero meters per second. I'm going to add this time. Velocity final, 6.6 .6 meters per second. Close my bracket. And I'm going to multiply that by 6.5. Okay, let's put it in a calculator and see what we get. What did you get? 21.45. But what will our answer be based on 60? 21. 21. Thank you, baby. Whoa. So it's 21. What's my units? Yay! Meters. Because we're talking about position. Fantastic. Do you feel safe enough to do the other three problems, or would you like to do one more problem first to make sure we got it? Can say one more? The one only more thing problem. I get confused about is changing the significant figure. That's what I think. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm And this about. is the thing. Just remember, if it is that problem, I'm only going to mark like a point off. Okay? But then when you have a test, trying to figure out which one it is, might be a little bit more difficult. But I will take that in consideration if it's sick fit because it just kills you. Remember, you can always use your ISM book. Yeah, look at the rule. Okay. All right. Let's look at question number two. It says, when Maggie applies the brake to her car, the car slows uniformly from 15 meters per second to zero. In 2.5, how many meters? Before she stops, sign must she apply her brake in order to stop at the sign. So, what do we know? What's the change in time? Let's do that first. Two point five zero seconds. What's my velocity initial? Fifteen point nine meters per second. Yep. What is my velocity final? We need to do number three, not number two. <laughs> yes, yeah, like, can we switch questions like right now? No, we're not switching. I've already done that one. Well, good. What did you get? Number, what answer like did you get? 18.75, but I got to do the significant figure. Yes. So it I was would be. I was going to look and see what you did. Huh? 20. Nope. It's 18. It'd be 19. And 19. Yeah. 18. Point. Point. Eight. Eight. Uh, meters. Well, I mean, I was doing the thing. Exactly. I'm confused. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You got it, Hayden? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Y'all make sure we do three. 
So we're going to do one half times velocity initial, which is 15.0 meters per second. We're going to add that to 0, 0.0 meters per second, and we're going to multiply that to 2.50 seconds. What do we get as far as the calculator says? What's the number? 18.75. 7, is my answer. But if I look, 1, 2, 3, right? 1, 2, 3. So it would be so 18.8. Is my answer? Does that help? You look you at the one that's got the, the biggest number, basically. Yes. Okay. Because we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, all has a rule. Yes, well, ma'am. Wouldn't the velocity, either initial or final, always be zero? Not necessarily. Okay. Unless they're doing a certain time period, but most of the time you're exactly right. One is going to be zero, one or the other. Or if it says, you know, from this time to this time, this is where they're at. Yeah, like for right now, it's either they're, they're starting from a dead start, or like a dead start, or mm -hmm. like they're stopping it, you know, completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is another formula for just that scenario. Number three. Mm -hmm. So uh, now. Don't see any change in time. You got to find change in time. Yes. So let's see where we are now. Let's switch gears. Let's go ahead and go to page 52 and 53. Now on 52, I wrote several things down because I thought on 52, they had a very important point. So when you get to a stopping point, get to your, get to your book online, and look at page number 52. I want to make sure you understand how to change your formula to get the unknown to the left side and everything else to the right. So what it does here is it's showing you, first of all, final velocity depends on initial velocity, acceleration, and time. It's showing how if you had an used the acceleration one, calculation and you would have to change it to get the velocity final it shows you how to do that if you know how to rearrange god bless you because you're going to need to know it in this class so then we have two more formulas that we have to look at so let's look at them so we have velocity with constant acceleration what does that mean Constant acceleration. They're constantly accelerating. Like a steady pace. Steady pace. That yeah. sounds like a great thing. So then we have velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times change in time. So in my notes, I wrote down what this meant. What we were doing a while ago is just placement with constant acceleration. Except, exactly. All these are all different um, formulas. That's what I had. Depending on what you're trying to find. Real quick on this, I might be all right. And remember, change in time is what? Time final is slow minus time initial, right? But then they don't throw one formula down, they throw two in here. The next one is displacement. And that's with constant acceleration. This one is change in position, right? Equals velocity initial times change in time plus, oh my gosh, half of acceleration times change in time and here is your square on the outside. Okay, displacement of constant acceleration. That is change in position times initial velocity, change in time, 
And I know this is ridiculous, but if you don't do it this way and you don't say this and you don't put it in your mind, you're going to forget what the variables are. Acceleration, change in time. Well, hold on a second. How many changes in times do I have? I got two. I got this one and this one. But this one's squared. So you got three. Technically, I'm doing it that same number three times, correct. Okay. So let's look at the sample problem. Yeah, it's a lot. Yes, it is. So which formula are they using? Um, the square one displacement. Like the second displacement. Yeah, the last They're using this displacement yeah, one. The bottom. But why does it not look like that? Because they had to rearrange it. Yeah, because they didn't have an um, have, yeah, average, acceleration. Average Since I didn't have A, so was, I had to have it by myself. So you know what it did? It took it from one side, put it on the other, so we could actually have it on one side. Are you and do you have the ability to go through the steps on how to change the formula? If you do, then that's great. So can I tell you, the first thing you have to do, figure out what formula you need. Write down your variables and then change your formula to what you need. Do it that way every time and you'll be okay. So let's see what we've got. It says a bar is moving with a speed of 1.0 meters per second. What is that? Velocity initial. Velocity initial. Yes, because we've got it here. Oh, All right, that's it. Okay. 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 Increases speed uniformly. So that 30 seconds it has traveled. 30 seconds is change in time. And it finished velocity would be 60. And then it said it traveled at 60.2 meters, which is the change in position. Uh, right? Or displacement. I got that wrote down on the wife. It's okay. Or displacement. So we are not being able to find A. We take this formula, we switch it around, and we have, um, excuse me, A equals 2 times change in time minus velocity initial, change in time, divided by change in time squared. God bless us. Wait. I thought that would be um, change in, um, what's the little the X one? Position. The position. Right there. Um, I have a question. Yes. Can we, since one's divided and one's multiplied, can we mark out if you can do if you can do that, you can do it yourself. I'm just going to do it the hard way, just so we got a system. Okay, so a equals two. What is my change in time? Thirty seconds, right? And I'm going to subtract that by my velocity initial. What is my velocity initial? One point zero. Meters per second. And then I'm going to times that by what? Change in time, which is 30 seconds. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do it that way so that I'm organizing my thoughts. <laughs> okay? And then I'm going to divide that by my change in time squared. Now, you can go ahead and do... Your 60 squared and get an answer? Wait, why is it 60? I thought we were going to buy Change in position? Yes, Change. I, oh, gosh. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell oh, you earlier. Oh, my gosh. 30 seconds squared. Thank you, ma'am. Perfect. Put it in your calculator and tell me what you got. Um, and when it's squared like that, yeah. I'll put it on the outside. Am I missing something else? Yes, ma'am. What am I missing? Um, when they rearrange it, it's not changing time, it's changing yeah, change. um, position. Here? No, ma'am. Ma no, ma it's supposed That's to be right. 60. Uh, it's changing the position minus that. That's what I'm trying to do. Yes, it was. 
Hayden, keep going, buddy. So there's my 60. I knew it was here somewhere. I have a point. What time of the day is this, Hayden? You can get started. It's Hayden. I'm telling you. I took an Adderall before I came to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. It's okay, I'm for sure. Okay. Put it in your calculator and see what you get. Let's see if we get an answer. It's a long one. <laughs> Alpha Y enter, because it's a fraction. I didn't listen to that. I wasn't listening to you, Hayden. I was not, and neither did the video that's recording me right now. So just let you know. No, it's not. No, it's not. I did something real. I'm not sure what it is. I got 3.5. I got 118.4. What did I say? I got 6.71. No, I'm playing. That's the answer. I ain't got it. Okay. Now you know what you're going to get. Yeah, you got all right, so go back again in your calculator because you're going to have to figure this out before we do the next question. Go back and look what they did in the problem. You see how they have the brackets and double brackets? Right? Is my double brackets here? Order of operation? I got the right number, but they're like. What mode are you in, ma'am? Scientific. Run that. This is so much fun. This time of the day. <laughs> Over this, just like this, just like that. So, yeah, okay, just like that. It's okay to cry, right? All right, am I, we're supposed to square it. My answer is 6.666667 E2. Oh my, I know the look how I did it, baby. Mine looks like Chinese. Look how I did it and do it in your calculator just like that. Because that's how you do it. All right, I'm going to move over here. Oh, you're saying, you forgot to subtract the one. Why am I subtracting the one? I didn't subtract the one. Oh, my God. I almost had the answer. Dang. Oh. I'm going really good from now. <laughs> Keep going. I'm going to go back. Keep going. You got this, Abby. 60.2 minus so 1.00. Zero, zero, <laughs> close bracket, open bracket, 30. Close, close. Down. I need that number. Clear. Over. Answer. Come on, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. So is that the right answer? It's close enough. Yeah. All right. Let's do this now. Let's do it in step. Y'all ready? Yes. I still got the decimal. Get the decimal. All right. All right. This is what Okay. I'm... So let's do this. 60.2 minus 1 is what answer? I'm going to do it up here. 62 minus 1. 60.2 minus 1 is what? 59.2. Okay? Now let's do 59.2 times 30. On this thing right here, it's got a 60. I don't know. Uh -huh. There's what? Um, like on the practice problem, it shows right here that it takes 62 and then it's subtracting. One multiplied by oh, 30. so it's like basically subtracting oh 30. So on there, instead of here, they're multiplying, they're doing 
this subtracting that. Yes, ma'am. He I'm looking he's on the got, book. He's got it. <laughs> he got it. I get it. I get it. I'm looking at it too. I'm so cool. Listen, we're good. So let's do this. So it's literally. Let's let's do 1.0, right? By 30s. Multiply by 30, which is 30. 30, right? 30 what? 30 meters, meters per second squared. Um, oh, that's 30 a, meters. Just meters? This is we M. multiply. It's got M on it. Okay. That's what it say. All right. So then we're going to subtract I'm, that from. That's because you're multiplying 30 seconds by one meter per second. So the seconds yes. cancel out. So yes, God, you are so good, Bailey. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take 60.2 and subtract 30. What do we get? 30.2 meters. 30.2 meters. Okay. And then you multiply. Now let's multiply that by two. Two, and then you divide. By oh, we're almost there. Okay. What answer do we get now? It should be 60.4, but I'm going to double check. 60.4. Yes, 60.4. What's my units now? Meters. Meters. Okay. Now we're going to do 30 squared. What is that answer? Okay, now take 60.4 and divide it by 900 and see what you get. <laughs> so guess what? Your answer is right. The book's wrong. We've done it. We've done it several different ways, have we not? We just proved the book wrong. The so, book. The so let's look and see if there's anything else that we have missed. Wait, what about C? Oh really? my gracious. What about C? Six point seven. Come on. Yeah, so it just like spread it a different way than we did. That's yeah. all they did. Mm -hmm. Everybody got it? Yes, ma'am. It took us a long time to get there, but we got it. Praise God. Now we are so ready. For the first question, aren't we? <laughs> Absolutely. We are still on the sample question. <laughs> That's right. Listen, Ooh, that was can, I, can I tell example. you, taking your time on the sample <laughs> question will get you in the right frame of mind so you do the first one. Okay, so what we got? Oh, wow, that's a long one. Okay, 1986, <laughs> the first flight around the globe without a single refuel was completed. That's so Guess good. what? That is blah. So you ain't even going to pay attention to that. The aircraft's average speed is 186 kilometers per hour. So that is our A, right? A average? A average. So we're going back to A average. It's 186 kilometers per hour. If the plane landed at a, at this speed and acceleration at negative 1.5 meters per second, so we have a negative 1.5 meters per second squared, how long would it take for the plane to stop? So what are we looking for? So velocity final, right? Yes, ma'am, because that would be the... Velocity. Velocity final. Uh, we don't have a clue. We're not looking for the change in time. How long did it take? How long did it take for the airplane to stop? Oh, we got another equation for this. So that's not velocity final. Oh, it's velocity with constant acceleration. So it would be velocity final equals velocity. Um, I and acceleration plus acceleration. Uh, average acceleration. It's like multiplied by change um, in time. Change in time. Yeah. I just did exactly what you just told me. Yeah, well, I just realized what I How about you forgot the plus sign? Yeah, the, yeah. where's the, my plus sign? Go? It's just it's acceleration, it's not average. average. I'm going to look at my face. <laughs> I passed the practice problem. So, my velocity initial is 186 kilometers per hour. My velocity final is negative 1.5 meters per second squared. And 
my velocity final. I mean, excuse me. That's my process. I right. right. right, hold on, just give me a second. I'm gonna process this. Holy crap. Uh, right. Okay. 186 kilometers per hour is my velocity initial. My velocity final because what is the plane doing? It's stopping. It's landing, we're hoping, without crashing. And my acceleration, is it, in, is it positive or negative? Is it accelerating or deaccelerating? Deaccelerating. I'm slowing down to slow. Slowing down. Okay, now. Formula that I'm going to use is change in time because that's what I'm looking for, right? That's what it's asking for because that's what Bailey said. I agree with Bailey. Okay, she needs that insurance. Okay, change in velocity over acceleration. Okay, so my change in velocity is what? Well, velocity final this line minus velocity initial over acceleration. Okay? It looked like it was hard, but once we started thinking about it, it wasn't too hard, was it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do zero kilometers per hour. We're going to subtract that from 186 kilometers per hour. Dividing it by our acceleration, which is a negative 1.5 meters per second squared. But we have a problem. What is our problem? We can't finish it yet. Um, there's a negative and then a Was that right? No, no. Hmm. We have to do a conversion. What is the conversion that I'm doing? Um, kilometers per hour to meters per second. Thank you, ma'am. God oh, bless you. So, one hour over 3,600 seconds. And then... How did you just do that? Uh, I'm going to do this. And it's 10 to the third meter over one kilometer. Conversion table, remember? We had that thing. Whoa. Yeah, we did. That was rough. Mm -hmm. Now we get to put this lovely thing into the calculator. Let's put that um, It's one hour, three, 3,600 seconds. Yes. I'm going to take this off and all of this off. Because it's all so, alpha y. Yeah, alpha y equals. Make Thank sure you do your brackets yeah. right. Think about what you want to do. Do you want to subtract these first, mm -hmm. and then do the conversions, and then make sure you get it right? Because if your bracket's not right, your answer's not right. Alpha y equal will be your best friend. You put that all in one time. Sure do. Awesome. So just like. And if you do not feel comfortable with that, do it separately. And make sure you use your carrot key for your third, please. Your carrot key. Yeah, that little thing that goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you do your negative like too. Like to me. Mm -hmm. You betcha. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just hitting enter. Okay, we got an answer. Never, never, never. <laughs> yes, you can. I have faith in you. I couldn't even get past the second part. I broke it down with the parts. You can break it down the parts. I don't have a problem with that. I just don't back it up earlier. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, second. I have an extra one. 
Yeah, I didn't realize it occurred in the month 9 34 points here. Yeah. Is it a positive or negative? Positive. But it says it's a negative. But there's two positive and negative on top of the negative. You got one again. Yep, the negative on top of the negative, which would make it a positive. Positive. Come right on down. Oh, my God. Hey, you know what? I can go for right across the What? Okay. I didn't. Three, six, zero, zero. Would you like to do one more? Or would you like to do that one more by yourself? Because, by the way, all these are one pages apiece. That's how beautiful mine is. This is what I got. Let's do. Seconds is the general. Let's do. Yes, sir, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. This isn't so bad. Y'all want to do number two? Because it's two parts. <laughs> yes. Yay. Okay. Let's go. So, an automobile with initial speed of 4.3 meters per second, what is that? What's 4.3 meters per second? Speed. Velocity. Okay. Velocity initial. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, acceleration uniformly at a rate of 3.00 meters per second. What is that? Constant speed, which would be acceleration. Oh, acceleration. Okay. Find the final speed and the displacement after 5.0 seconds. So, 5.0 seconds is what? Okay, let's find the final Change speed. in time. Which one would you like to do first? Let's do, let's do velocity final first. You ready? Velocity final equals velocity initial plus at Acceleration times change in time. Yeah, that's what I was trying that to do. That is the velocity here, final one. And then the change in position equals velocity initial, change in time, plus one half times acceleration times change in time squared. Here are your formulas. I'm going to give them to you. And I'm going to let you plug and chug yourself. All righty. Mm -hmm. This will show you velocity final. This will show you change in position. And when you get the answers, let me know and I'll come by and see it. This concludes today's lesson. And I'm going to turn me off.